All right, 049, just knock on the door, wait till they open it, and say your line. Oh, this is gonna be so great, they're gonna die. Uh, no, not literally, it's of laughter. It's a prank, yo, come on. What's saying so long? Try the knob. Oh. <laughs> oh, they got got. They got got so bad. He didn't even say the line. He didn't even say the line. He's... <laughs> Did you see the jump? Ah, oh, it's so good. So good. If a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? It may in fact scream. Excuse me? What tree? Where? How did you make it scream? No, it's a perfect plan. Trees need oxygen to live. We throw it in the giant whirlpool. Everything's afraid of drowning. It'll scream. Watch for the bubbles. Watch for... No! I will sell my firstborn to the Scarlet King if you scream! This game is based on the relatable feeling of getting lost in an Ikea. Meanwhile, true fans comment smirk emoji because they know what the game is really based on. Dr. Bright's not allowed to make my taquito identify as an attack helicopter. It's an overused transphobic joke and my lunch is ruined. In a world of anomalous individuals, none have evaded the foundation as often as Santa Claus. The Holly King, the Yule Man, Santa Claus the Time Traveler, Homeless My Blood is Made of Bailey Santa, and what the hell is a Laplander? But thanks to our collaboration with Sonos and their seasonal audio noise tracking aggregator or Santa Index, we will track the jingle waves, we will securely contain Santa Claus, we will protect the populace from his anomalous actions, and we will answer the question, when can you play Christmas music without annoying everyone around you? Godspeed, agents. No, no, no one's gonna fall for that. Are, are you serious? No, no, it's completely obvious what that is. Why are these protagonists so stupid? Ah! Oh, what? What the hell? What's wrong with you? Sex! What? Sex! Ah! And on this monitor, we have an event. The living house is shedding its skin. Oh, it's going to be extra hungry for D-Class this week. As you can see, our security has been upgraded since the last containment breach. Anomaly contained. This is a missive from the SCP Foundation. The Foundation has fallen. Every mobile task force contingency destroyed. Countless researchers lost. The overseers are in hiding. The ethics committee... I'm not even sure they existed. But I have to announce... Mariah Carey has breached containment. I repeat, we are in the midst, in the process of undergoing an MC class end of holiday scenario. Find your loved ones while you can and hold them tight because it's time. <laughs> Sorry, first time being kidnapped, kind of nervous. So like, why did you pick me? Do you think I'm cute? I'm gonna kill you. Okay, daddy vibes. We love a bad boy king and I want to die. Uh... There's something wrong with your generation. Freeze! Police! You're safe now, ma'am. Okay, ew, police is not that deep. Chill. And did you just assume my gender? Because that's offensive. But I'm here to say- That's offensive. But you were- That's offensive. And this is why you're junior researchers. What are we looking at? This doesn't look anomalous at all. Oh. Once again, you all tagged me in the comments, promising me that this time, SCP-4521 is going to scream. Let's find out. That's a whimper at best. Do better. God. <laughs> what? Proper squad. Slavic God. Deals in sky. <laughs> Add stretching to our agents' training. Thus concludes your orientation to work at the SCP Foundation. And remember, as we say in the Foundation Fitness Initiative, you don't have to be the fastest staff member, just not the slowest. D&D TikTok, I need your help. A charisma save. SCP-2316, titled Field Trip, but colloquially known as You Do Not Recognize the Bodies in the Water, constantly requires checks of your cognitive resistance value, your CRV. That's a wisdom save, right? I don't know what it is, but I think I just found my new hyperfixation. SCP-3812 is described in the article as being only vaguely humanoid, so you can start by drawing a sort of human shape with a... Start by drawing a hand, holding a pen, drawing a picture of a sort of human shape with... Start by drawing an artist, drawing a hand holding a pen, which is drawing a... Start by drawing an animator at his desk, drawing a picture of an artist. Start by drawing MMS from the YouTube channel So Okay, Here's the Thing, drawing a picture of an animator at a desk. Start by drawing a... Sitting at... Drawing a picture of MMS from the YouTube channel. Start by drawing yourself, drawing a... Start by drawing... 
Let's start. Can you hear him? He's above us now. To draw SCP-3812, start by drawing SCP-3812. Regular Sherm here in the voiceover booth. SCP-3812 is not that complicated, you just have to understand the concept of narrative levels. So why, a human being, exists in what we conceptualize as the real world? If I write a fictional story, then those characters exist one narrative level below me. And if I write that those fictional characters write their own fictional story, then those characters are two levels below me, one below my characters. And if it turns out that our real world is a simulation or some sort of fictional reality made by someone above us, then they are the narrative levels above us. SCP-3812's anomaly is that it exists in all narrative levels simultaneously, so it was written by an author, but it is both above and below the author at every single narrative level. And just like an author has absolute power to change anything they want in the fictional story they're writing, so too does SCP-3812 have the power to change anything on any narrative level because it's above them all. TLDL, 3812, Solos, Goku, and probably even Popeye. Hurry up! We don't want pictures of Spider-Man! We want to put him in a box! Oh, I run 5K every morning thanks to the Foundation Fitness Initiative. Remember, in case of containment breach, you don't have to be the fastest researcher, just not the slowest. Yeah, I got the cleanup roster here. It says D5708 is a Koopa, is that correct? Crap. And now for today's site-wide announcements. Shout out to all of my anomaly-pilled little pong champs feeling super containment core today. Steve! We interrupt your feed with an urgent message from the SCP Foundation. Never put spoons in your butt. Despite what you may have heard about SCP-7052, putting one spoon inside your rectum will not improve your general mood. Putting three to five spoons in your buttocks will not make you luckier and or cure grievous wounds or illnesses. Thrusting seven spoons into your posterior will not make you more attractive to romantic partners of your preference. Godhood is not 12 poop shoot spoons away! Don't become a statistic. Just say no to butt spoons. Dr. Sherman out in the field, I need an opinion from you, team. What do I do? What do I do? It was me. I was the monster all along. I know what I have to do. I don't know if I have the strength to do it. When I find the individual who gave SCP-999 a hit of SCP-420-J, they're getting promoted. This is awesome. <laughs> Let Dr. Buchanan's fate be a reminder to the rest of staff not to make any Mushroom Kingdom meme-based mistakes. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.